वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल फ्रेंड्स स्वागत है आप सभी का सो ऑल इंडिया बैंक रिटायरी फेडरेशन का बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट सर्कुलर फोर्टीन ऑफ अगस्त का जस्ट नाउ इट हैज़ बीन रिलीज उसी को डिस्कस करेंगे आई की तरफ से है सो दैट इज वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट हेयर सो इट्स नाउ योर ड्यूटी टू शेयर द अपडेट एंड चैनल को फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब जरूर कर लेना फॉर द लेटेस्ट बैंकिंग पेंशन एंड रिलेटेड अपकमिंग अपडेट्स के लिए श्री ब्राजेश्वर शर्मा जी सीनियर एडवाइजर इंडियन बैंक एसोसिएशन इम्पॉर्टेंट है रिन्यूअल ऑफ ग्रुप हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी फॉर द रिटायर इज ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी टू फाइंड दैट आई बी एज एग्री टू इशू कम्बाइंड पॉलिसी फॉर एम्प्लॉय एंड रिटायरिज विद कॉमन डेट ऑफ कमेंसमेंट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट नवंबर 24 टू हैव कॉमन डेट ऑफ कमेंसमेंट आई बी एज डिसाइडेड टू पॉस्पोन डेट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अक्टूबर 24 to 1st november 24 for employees and we are sure that these steps of iba would result in to reduction of the premium rates for retirees and we convey our thanks to indian bank association authorities for addressing retirees concerned on group insurance i you are aware of aibrf has been raising the issue of common policy for retirees and employees in joint meeting held at chief labor commissioner office during september 22 to september 23 and be happy that iba has found logic and reasoning in our stand and finally approved them so kya kya yahan pe suggestions hain retirees are offered uh, insurance policies with two option that is floater policy with self and spouse on single basis either it, either to pensioner or family pensioner we suggest that in floater policy physical handicapped dependent children may also be included and this will help the retirees during uh, meeting social obligations ayurvedic and unani treatment should be eligible for claim in the policy okay critical illness benefits are provided in bp settlement dated 35th may 2015 may be extended to retirees on optional basis on payment of ex gratia premium as provided in the present tender document for employees and there is a provision to constituent uh, committee to participate in process selection of tpa by insurance companies the committee will also monitor tpa service on regular basis and it is a welcome step we suggest that to make it more effective and transparent data on monitoring done by the committee may be published on quarterly basis and also feedback system may be designed and introduced we find that provision has been made uh, to impose monetary penalty on tpa insurance company for delay in advising approval for cashless and sanction of claim so this is also welcome step in this also in this case also periodical data should be published by ib on quarterly basis for knowing for the knowledge of retirees to uh, make it transparent and effective so i rda has recently issued guidelines to insurance companies for cashless facility in case of health insurance should be available in all the hospitals so a bahut positive update yahan pe special clauses to this effect may be incorporated in the policy document so retirees may get treatment on hospital office choice friends 